The Hornstromp channel is one of several channels on which many animated videos appear, specifically focused on the amazing digital circus, but not with good intention. I want you to take this seriously, as these channels pose a significant threat to the digital show community, and it's not even surprising that after a while, Gooseworks noticed them and even reacted. So watch the video to the end. The first content farm video that caught the attention of Gooseworks was a video that gained popularity with Jax's sister, a new character introduced in their animation. Surprisingly, Many viewers took this character as cool and started drawing and sharing it on Twitter, which gained a lot of popularity. Now you may be wondering what happened next. That's right, Gooseworks started to take notice, and here is a screenshot of her reaction in which she expressed, I don't mean to be a buzzkill, but don't you guys think drawing obsessing over this character is just giving these content farm channels what they want? Like I'd be fine with it if it came from a fan and not a content farm video, but it very much comes from a content farm video. In fact, it's hard to disagree with this as it says that if a random fan had created the illustration, it wouldn't have been as damaging. However, since the illustration is taken from a Content Farm channel's video, it would only draw more attention to their character and the video, which is not beneficial to the digital circus. Considering that their videos have already gone viral, and their only motivation is mostly not to promote the show, but obviously to make money, they have a very negative impact on the digital show community. For example, I try to avoid watching such channels as they can mislead you, and so I advise you best to avoid these channels and do not spread fake drawings, do not draw or contact them. Otherwise, their ratings and views will only increase. Despite this, some fans have a different point of view. One person on the internet stated that people are just having fun, and Gooseworks shared her opinion too. If it was designed by a fan, she'd have no problem with it. So any other character that was made by either Gooseworks or a fan would be just fine to draw over and over. But if you promote Content Farm's character, you are really stimulating the growth of their channel, along with the negative impact it carries. This picture shows the character, Jodge, who was created by Gooseworks some time ago, and who was Jax's evil twin sister. While Jax was sometimes brash and rude, this girl was originally an evil version of Jax. After a while, everyone started drawing this character and posting the artwork all over Twitter. Gooseworks enjoyed these illustrations and start interacting with users on Twitter. She realized that these drawings were created by fans and not by any popular content farm channels that had influence. However, her action later turned out to have unpleasant consequences. She wrote her own tweet about the whole situation, but its later deletion from her Twitter account can be attributed to the negative reaction. Then Gooseworks posted a tweet expressing her disapproval and preference that people should not create videos or drawings related to content farm characters. She pointed out that such actions only promote these channels, which no one wants and could hurt the digital show. Despite some saying that Gooseworks should let people enjoy and create, I think her arguments are compelling. If we promote their characters, we are actually promoting content farms that are harmful and will do no good. One fan asked Gooseworks to revoke the copyright of all content farm channels. Gooseworks replied that it could not file a copyright infringement complaint, as these videos were not posted on its channel. In addition, she pointed out the lack of rules in YouTube regarding copyright infringement on videos that she does not like. Despite this, if she files a complaint of copyright infringement on these channels, a lawsuit may arise, since the owners of these channels can contact lawyers, pointing out the fair use of the content. Gooseworks stressed that the amazing digital circus needs money, and spending it on lawyers would not be the best solution. She also noted that if she had filed a complaint of copyright infringement on videos that she did not like, it would have caused a negative reaction. Some content farm channels are bad, and fans have already sent Gooseworks videos of these channels before, and she asked her fans what they think about it. You guys keep sending me the worst content farm slot imaginable, and you're like, what are your thoughts on this? And she goes even further by saying, I like genuine fan content. By the way, it's just getting really hard to find and the endless sea of soulless trash, which I certainly agree with, since a lot of useless and even harmful video content is now appearing on social networks, especially 18 plus content, which cause psychological harm to underage children, since most likely they log into YouTube from their parents' phone and there are no restrictions on viewing 18 plus content. And Gooseworks is just expressing her opinion that she doesn't like these content farm channels, but she's not gonna go so far as to file a copyright infringement complaint against them or publicly condemn them, 
She just said that it would be better for the community if you don't watch them, but only watch the real one. Fan content. So what other harm can content farm channels do? They will change your reality regarding the digital circus, or more precisely, the characters of this show and their personality and characteristic features. Gooseworks and her team have spent a lot of time to create the distinctive features of each character. Each character in the digital circus plays his role and does not go beyond it. And the content farm channels blurs the boundaries of their individuality. For example, Jack suddenly becomes good, Kinger becomes adequate, although we all know that this is not the case, but it's all done for the sake of clickbait and, of course, views. And this gives a lot of money. In conclusion, friends, I would like to say that it is in our power to resist this and not watch such videos.